Today students, today we solve the nine problems of the statistics chapter. Six one. The mean of first three terms is forty, and uh, okay, mean of so first of all, mean of first three terms is equal to forty. That implies six x one is equal to forty into forty. Next mean of second two terms. So mean so first x one plus x two plus x three like that. Two terms is equal to how much? Eighty. That implies sigma x two is equal to two into eighty. Next, the ask the mean of all five terms. The mean of all five terms for me is equal to sigma x one plus sigma x two divided by five. What is the total? Fourteen uh, into three plus two into eighteen by five. Solve that. We get answer. Next one. Seventh question. The mean height of fifty students is one fifty four. It is discovered later on the while calculating the mean reading. Okay, same model. We subtract five one forty five and add one seventy five. Uh, number does not change. We get the answer. We do that one. Some problem. Eighth question. The arithmetic mean of an observation is m. The arithmetic mean of n observations. Is m. If the sum of n minus four observations is sum of n minus four observations is a, then the mean of remaining observations, then the mean of remaining observations is okay. Let's uh, the mean of remaining observations. Remaining observations. Let it be x and y. The given what total we will take total. Total means how much this plus actually from this one. How can we take this one? Uh, let the mean of remaining observations. Remaining observations how many total here? Four. Remaining is four observations. Remaining are four observations. So, That implies m is equal to given how much? Uh, a plus 4x from this divided by total m minus 4 plus 4. So total mean is equal to that one. So that means 4 for cancel. M is equal to a plus 4x1. 4x1 is equal to m minus a. X1 is equal to m minus a by 4. This one is so. Let the mean of remaining observation is equal to x1. So how to make that? The formula is remaining in some value of sigma xi by 4. So for this reason, we can apply sigma xi by is equal to 4x. Total mean, total mean means n minus 4 value plus this value divided by total observations n minus 4 plus 4 cancel the answer. The remaining four observations is equal to how much? M minus a to four. So the option that is zero plus four x one. Okay, sir. This is the number. The number is there. The number four x one is equal to the number minus a. Therefore. Yenam minus a by 4. So now, first half is the correct answer. Next up, ninth question. If the mean of n observations x1, x2, x1, x3 is x bar, okay, mean of n observations. So this can be written as x1 plus x2 plus x1 xn 
This one, n times, n x1. So, how do we form this? How can we write x1 plus x2 plus x1, x and is equal to multiply this one, n x1. In place of this one, n x1 minus n x1 cancel. This will be 0 fixed distributor. Always the equations uh, for the mean will be 0. So, 9 plus that one. Tenth question. Following are the marks obtained by 9 students in a mathematics test. The mean deviation from the median. Mean deviation from the median formula sigma xi minus m divided by n. You will find first of all median. How to find median? First of all, arrange ascending order. Here, how many terms? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 terms are there. 9 terms means formula odd number n plus 1 by 2. Okay. Uh, n plus 1 by 2 the term. Okay. We will find first median. Then substitute here. Divided by n. Find out median. Median is. So, this is the 10th person. Good. Formula. Next, 11th person. Answer. 
third option is the correct answer. Next up, the sum of 49 consecutive term integers is 7 to the power of 5. Okay, consecutive term, sum of the consecutive term also, their median answer. So, median means first of all, arranging ascending order. Consecutive terms already, they are arranging in ascending order. Right? How many terms there? There are 49 terms. Mean is equal to nothing but a median. Therefore, we want median considered as a mean. By which we are conjugated terms. Uh, what is the sum of conjugated terms? 7 to 5 divided by total number of terms 49. Therefore, 7 to 5 by 7 square. That implies 7 cube is the correct answer. Third option is the correct answer. Okay. And the third is the right formula. The median of arranged in series of n even observations. That is the same series. That is, therefore, fourth option is the correct answer. Understand? Even numbers n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1. That are mean of. Even numbers means 1 by 2 of. Right? Okay. Fourth option is the correct answer. Okay. Next one. Uh, 14. Made it of the following frequency distribution Excel. So, first of all, we will arrange in a ascending order of the variate Xi. Therefore, Xi will end with the frequency. Xi means 3, 6, so 3, 4. Next, 6 after 6, 7. 7 corresponding frequency, 13. Next, 10, 10 corresponding frequency, 2. Next, 12, 12 corresponding frequency, 8. 15, 15 corresponding frequency, 10. Now, find C of cumulative frequency. For hard data also, uh, n by 2 plus n by 2, uh, even number. You can see, hard number n by 2 plus 1. M plus 1 by 2 plus 3, 7, uh, 20, 22, 22 plus 1, 30, 30, 40. So, this also M 40. What is median? Median is equal to N by 2 plus N by 2 plus 1. Divided by N. What is N by 2? N by 2 means how much this value? N is equal to 40. N by 2 is 40 by 2, 20th. 20th plus 21st. By 40. Sorry, 2 is so. 2. 20th term means 5. 20th term means 7. 21st. This is 10. Therefore, 7 plus 10 by 2. 17 by 2. 8.5. 8.5 is the median. Not the division. Just median. Uh, third option is the correct answer. Right? Third option. Next job. Twenty five percent of the items are less than twenty. And twenty five percent are more than forty. Then the quartile deviation. So nothing but quartile deviation formula. QD is equal to two three minus. Q1 by Q, what is Q3? Here already Q3 is equal to 40 minus 20 by 2. Therefore, um, 20 by 2, 10. Next, the range of observation. Range means maximum number minus minimum number. This one. Maximum number and minus minimum number. This one, 15th problem. Next here, 16th problem. 16th problem, that implies 9 minus 2. You see, next problem, um, 17th problem. Main equation of the observations from median. First of all, to find median, before that, to arrange ascending under the given numbers, first to find median, afterwards, main division. Okay, first to find 
million that is given or n is r given 1 million next to mitigation sigma xi minus m divided by n okay so use the formula to find the mitigation next to 18 percent mitigation from the main for the observations observations so the three given here minus 1 0 4 okay what is this mean mean is equal to minus 1 plus 0 plus 4 by 3 how much 3 by 3 is equal to 1 right what is the mitigation mitigation is equal to sigma xi minus x bar by n therefore minus 1 plus minus 1 modulus 0 minus 1 modulus 4 minus 1 modulus divided by 3 this is 2 1 plus 3 divided by 3 how much? Oh, sorry this one 6 uh, uh, 3 4 plus 2 6 by 3 then the value is equal to 2 so option 3 is the correct answer 19% the variance x and u are related u is equal to x minus a by h u is equal to minus x by h minus a by h so actually the observ for observations add may be change but in variance no change same as but to multiply or divide this is nothing but multiply one by h so multiple Okay, multiple of this one. What about variance? Two times, square times of. Okay, this is equal to x minus a by this is addition. No change for this one. For this one, what about for this value? Uh, this is standard deviation. Rest is equal to sigma u. Okay. Square of this one. Therefore, sigma u is equal to new variance. New variance is equal to how much? Uh, that implies 1 by h times of new uh, standard deviation variance is square so that implies sigma x what is the relation so if you multiply this one x is equal to h into this one this is the relation yes variance is square standard deviation is square root is 1 by h take directly so first option is the correct answer sigma x is equal to h into sigma u next one. 20. A sample of 35 observations as the mean 80 and standard deviation is for second sample. Two samples here. How many observations for first year one? 35. Mean XMR is equal to 80. Next up. Standard deviation of the first, one, first sample is equal to Now, second sample. Second sample n2. n2 is equal to how many? 65 numbers. x2 bar mean 70. Standard deviation of uh, this one 30. Okay. Various form of sigma of uh, standard deviation equal to what is the standard deviation form of sigma of sigma xi minus uh, x bar whole square by n actually whole square means this is variance my standard is under square root that is under square root next term there are some standard deviation of compared sample compared sample standard deviation first of all compared uh, we will find ok how much that value n into uh, n1 into uh, this value how much 80 n2 into uh, 70 divided by n plus therefore that is equal to how much is value uh, n1 is equal to 35 and n2 is equal to 65 x1 is equal to 80 x2 is equal to 7 right that implies number to me 34 into 80 plus 65 into 70 divided by ok uh, 65 plus 30 and 70 hundred. Okay, 
will stop in this video seven to five time after calculation. Next one combined variance. This is equal to just that only as combined the standard deviation of the combined of sample. Okay, so that implies the alpha. The M1 means 35 plus the mean square 60 plus this mean under the square square is 80 minus 72.5. How much that is approximately 6.5 plus 2.5 plus this one 65 and this uh, sorry this is 3 variance is equal to 9 plus uh, 70 minus 2.5. How much that is 2.5? So that implies 2.5 whole square. Okay. Back to something. Something. So this is something in English. Then, okay, 6.5. 70 minus so 3.5. 3.5 whole square. Whole square. How much? That is nothing but 1.5. Total value. Okay. Then one plus one hundred. We'll get answer. Um, options five point eight five five five. Okay. Plus one we'll get five point eight five. So first option is the third option. Solve this one. We'll get first option five point eight five. Okay. This is the combined standard deviation. Next show. Uh, if the standard deviation of a set, if the standard deviation of a set of observations is four, and each observation divided by four. Here also concept to given. Uh, suppose each observation, each observation divided by four, same like that. Okay. Means nothing but the one by four. So divided by four means uh, divided by four. Okay. Each observation means multiple of one by four. Multiple of one by four. Each observation. Then actually standard deviation, uh, where is it equal to suppose multiple with k, k square times of original variance. So like that, the standard deviation is equal to square root of k times of standard deviation. So that the resulting answer is equal to k times of the uh, original standard deviation. Okay, use that concept. If the standard deviation set of observation is 4, suppose first one, original standard deviation is equal to 4. And if each observation divided by 4, each observation divided by 4 means 1 by 4 of x i, each observation. The standard deviation of the new set of observation will be new, new set that will be this is x1, okay, or x dash. New set of standard deviation is equal to each observation 1 by 4 into original standard deviation 1 by 4 into 4, cancel. One is the New standard deviation. What is the answer? So for the answer is the correct answer. Next one. 22. The quotient of variation of two sets are quotient of variation CV. CV is equal to 58% CV1. CV2 is equal to 69%. If the standard deviation are 21.2 and 15.6 and then mathematic means uh, what is called uh, CV first of all there was CV1 is equal to standard deviation divided by x1 into 100 you want x1 standard deviation 21.2 divided by k percent that is equal to 100 we will get answer that 6.6 and 
and what is also the first half of the correct answer that is 6.6 and the 22.6 that is how you calculate you get that answer 36.6 and 22.6 first half is the correct answer next the average numbers of the average of n numbers x1 x2 x3 xn is x bar average okay is means of sigma xi by n is equal to x bar that implies sigma xi value is equal to n into x bar okay given here capital letter right capital letter if x1 is replaced by a in this terms x1 is replaced by a the new average, the new average, this one. Suppose sigma xi replaces x of this one, right? Replaced by it. Yes. Divided by same n terms is equal to the new average value. New average value how much? So this type of term not there. In this place, substitute in this one. Therefore, n x bar minus x1 plus a by n. So the type of option, first option is the correct answer. Right. An additional observation 15 is included in a series of 11 observations and its mean remains unaffected. Okay. Suppose if an additional observation 15 is included in that, but in the set of 11 observations, okay, add 15 total observations total. There is no affected in new mean, then what about the original mean series? Suppose, for example, this is question number 23 24. Actually, 11 observation will take sigma and sin by 11 observation is equal to m. Yes? So now we will add what is this value? This value is equal to sigma and sin is equal to 11. Now we will add. Plus 15 divided by total already 11. When add is 12, there is no change. There is no change. Then what is this mean value? In place of sigma x i, 11 and 15. 11 and plus 15 is equal to 12 m. That implies m is equal to 15. M is equal to 15. Second option is the correct answer. Right? 23. If the automatic mean of 9 observation series 100 and the top 6 series 80, then the combined mean, so combined mean is equal to combined mean x bar is equal to 6 observation only, 9 observations is equal to 100 plus 6 observations is equal to 80 divided by 9 plus 6. 15 will get answer uh, 92 will get answer. Okay. This is the top of me. This is question number 25. Next one. 26. Mode. Mode means so, which number frequently repeated? That is the answer. 9 is more than number 1, 2, 3, 4. Four times repeated. So mode is the nine. The mean deviation of the data from the mean. How to find mean deviation from the data means uh, twenty-seven. First of all, it can be MD is equal to sigma x i minus x bar and divided by m. So I will repeat this concept. Okay. So solve that one. Next up, from the median, same concept, sigma xi uh, 28, first of all find median, then mean deviation is equal to sigma xi minus m divided by, right? So this is the 28th part. 29, mean deviation for an observations x1, x2, x3, and so on, xn from their mean xc is, so format that is directly second option. Okay, students. Next one. The mean of 30. The mean of 100 observations 
is 50 and the standard deviation is uh, that mean of okay what is mean mean of 100 observations is 50 that implies 50 this is okay 50 therefore sigma x is equal to how much actually 5000 okay standard deviation standard deviation is equal to Five. Standard deviation is equal to five. The sum of all squares, sum of all squares is equal to actually variance for how much? Variance for standard formula sigma x i square by n minus x bar whole square. Yes, x bar whole square that implies sigma x i square by n. Minus x bar plus we already uh, suppose this is a standard deviation. Okay. <laughs> Remove the square root. Standard deviation value, how much given the standard deviation value? 5. Square value was such. So this is equal to 5. Standard deviation. That implies 25. Sigma x i square by 100. Then how many terms? 100 minus x bar. x bar means 0. That is 50 whole square. Yes. We want the sum of the sum of the all squares of an observation. We want this one that implies 25 plus 50. 50 is 2500 is equal to sigma x square by 100. This one is equal to 2525 is equal to sigma x square into 100. That implies therefore sigma x square is equal to Thank you. 